Welcome back. This is the second video in a four-part series that goes along with an article in issue 21 of Coffee People Zine. The article is Functional Movement for Roasters, Exercises to Stretch and Strengthen the Muscles Coffee Roasters Use Every Day by Kevin Mejia. Kevin is a roaster himself, there he is, so he knows the toll roasting can take. Plus he's a trainer, so he comes with a background of movement, strengthening, and fitness, so he can apply that knowledge here. This video focuses on hip mobility, so whether you sit or stand at your roaster, your hips definitely get worked over a long roast day. Kevin demonstrates three exercises you can do to increase your hip mobility, which will ease some lower back pain and leg strain. Of course, if you feel any pain or discomfort, stop immediately and check with your doctor or a fitness professional. If you missed the first video on shoulder mobility, click here to watch that. And the next two videos in this series will be coming out over the next two weeks. But for now, it's all in the hips. Hey guys, I'm Kevin Mejia from Bevel Coffee and I'm here to show you some functional fitness for roasters. This is our second video in the series. So today we're gonna to be looking at hip mobility and strength. These are drills that are gonna help if you've got you know, lower back pain when you're on those long roast days. If you were doing heavy lifting and picking up bags, again, our hips and our legs get really tired from standing all day. So some of these stretches are gonna be really great to help you get through those eight hour days. Let's get started. We're gonna start with our first drill, which is really simple. It gets prescribed often in a PT setting. Um, and it's gonna be one that we do laying face up. So it's a glute bridge, okay? Glute bridges are simple. Um, they work out our gluteus muscles, your butt muscles, and they are gonna be very helpful in stabilizing your lower back. That's what the glutes are there to do. They're there to aid in hip extension, which is the position that we're in when we're standing, and to support our lower back through movement. So, we're gonna go ahead and put our heels close to our butt, okay? I'm gonna anchor my belly tight so that I don't round or arch my back in weird ways, and I'm gonna think about pressing my heels into the floor to raise my hips to the sky. I wanna create a straight line between the shoulder and the knees, come back down, and then drive back up again. Okay, you can put your hands on the ground and do these, and the first few reps might seem really trivial if you're not doing much, but if you focus on literally clenching your glutes together, right? Uh, the cue that we would give is like break a walnut between your glutes, right? It's do that and squeeze hard, you will start to get the benefit of strengthening the glutes. Now, if doing this on two legs becomes really easy, you can take some sort of weighted object, put it on your hips and do more reps. Or, even better, you can go ahead and lift one leg, and this will be a challenge for a lot of people. Lift one leg and do these with a single leg. And doing, you know, 10 of these on each side is guaranteed to strengthen your hips quick. Glute bridges is a good place to start. And go ahead and you know do three sets of 20 of these in a day. And the best thing to do is to just be consistent with these every day. Our second drill that we're gonna do for hip mobility is a couch stretch. And this drill is exactly what it sounds like. And you're going to need some sort of seat or a couch or something like that. So in my case, I have a workout bench here, okay? And this one is pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get down to our knees and I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot up onto the top of the bench just like this. Um, it's really helpful if you can get a pad under your knee if your ground is really hard. Um, I'm kind of used to it, I guess, but put something down like a pillow or, or some sort of like a yoga mat so that your knee isn't hurting, but I digress. We're gonna go ahead and put our shoelaces up on top of the bench and then I'm gonna go ahead and just pick my foot up into this kind of lunge position like this. Now, a lot of people will get to this position right here and this is already intense enough. And what you're gonna feel is a big stretch through the quad and the front of the hip. As I get better at this, what I'm really looking for is just like that glute bridge, I wanna clench my glute on that left side in this case. And I wanna drive my body upwards so that this stretch becomes a little bit more intense. You guys can see my hip is straight. If you notice, like if you put a mirror up or your phone just like this, uh, and you notice that your back is really arched like that, maybe the drill is too advanced. And what you need to do is just kind of back your knee away a little bit 
and try to, you know, you can keep your hand on the ground and just focus on driving that hip forward. You're still gonna get the benefit of stretching out the front of the hip, which, if we sit a lot, right, we can go to a sitting position. Sitting shortens the muscles in my hip, the front of my hip, the hip flexors. And when we stand for long periods, if you start to notice that you're getting back pain, right, then the reason that might be happening is because our hip flexors are tight and are kind of causing us to stand in this like coach's position where my, where my glutes are behind me and my chest is kind of in front of me like this. The combination of the glute bridge and this hip flexor stretch will open up the hips so that you are standing in a much more stable position where the shoulders are stacked over your hips and your feet, okay? You would do both sides. Ideally, you would do maybe a minute or two per side. You can do this while you're watching TV on the couch um, or with a chair. And if you don't have a chair or something like that, you can always put your foot up onto a wall and that will work just as well. Best thing about it is you don't need any equipment and it's really effective. But like anything else, if it feels sketchy, it is. So take your time with the drill. And eventually, like I said, your goal could be to think about getting your butt all the way back to your heel and being in this position, which as I do it now, this is pretty intense for me. I probably would want to back off a little bit and hang out in a position that I can stabilize it, okay? The last drill that I want to talk about for our hip mobility is something that some of us might really struggle with, but it's one of the simplest things that we can do, and that's literally going to be hanging out in a deep squat, okay? Um, now, I have a lot of practice, so I am able to sort of like sit into this deep squat and maybe hang out here for a long time. Um, what I really like to do a lot of times is wedge my elbow between my knees and then use my hands to kind of pry open so that I'm stretching the insides of my hip as well, my inner, my inner thigh, my adductors. Um, and I'll just kind of wiggle around and play with the position. Hanging out in a position that our body is meant to go into is one of the best ways for us to improve the mobility. Now, if you're not able to do this with a flat foot and keeping your chest up, maybe you kind of are in this position, that's okay. You can anchor your body to any object. So if I'm not able to do it with, without assistance, I can grab an object like your bed, your bed frame or whatever, and I can just use that assistance to get into a better position and hang out here. It doesn't matter that you need the help, you're still in the position and teaching your body to live in that position and also kind of aligning the system, right? When we're in our squat, right, you can see I'm opening the knees and I'm keeping the chest up and I'm teaching my body to, to kind of uh, like line itself up, right? As we get better at this, you can start making this a strength component where maybe we use a kettlebell or a dumbbell or whatever weighted object you have to start working on this strength. Any strength that we can add to our body to improve our leg function is going to help us on those long days where again, you're standing all day at the computer, you're turning the knobs on the dials and you're moving coffee around, okay? So hang out in a deep squat for two, three minutes and see what that does for you in your roasting days, okay? That's three drills for hip mobility. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We've got two more videos to go, and uh, yeah, happy roasting. That was the hip mobility series. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. As I mentioned, video one on shoulder mobility is available now. There are two more videos in this Functional Fitness for Roasters series where we'll cover stability and strength. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when those videos are available. These videos are a complement to Kevin's article in issue 21 of Coffee People Zine. I'll put a link for the zine in the description below, so check that out if you haven't so you can read along. Plus, see a bunch of other art and articles by creative coffee people, including coffee roasters. Until next week, thanks for watching. Cheers.